Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 13th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to talk about arrays in PHP. So I have a file opened up in my text editor. It's called arrays.php and uh, I have some PHP coordinate between the opening and closing PHP tags on line 6 and 16 respectively. And the code is actually pretty simple. If you've programmed in other languages and if you've used arrays before then you know the concept of arrays in other languages is the same as it is in PHP. And uh, you create arrays using the array keyword in PHP. But before we check out how to create arrays and how we can you know, fetch values out of arrays, let's first understand what an array is. So an array is a collection of memory locations wherein you have different values at different memory locations. And you can also have values of different kinds. So you know, if you create uh, a normal variable, you can have uh, a string value in it at one time and uh, you can have a new uh, you know a numeric value in it in another time but simultaneously it's not possible for you to have two different values in the same variable now in an array that problem is solved because you sort of uh, you know reserve for yourself a set of memory locations and in those memory locations you can have different values so you know you can have uh, fractional values in it you can have string values in it you can also have you know plain simple integer values in it and the places where arrays are useful are let's say you want to store the uh, scores of 15 students in a test now you would want to access scores using the same variable name like scores but you would still want to store different values in it and let's say some people have got you know uh, 90 out of 100 so you would want to store 90 as a whole number and some people have got 99.58 so you would want to store that as a fractional value so you know arrays offer you that flexibility and uh, in C, for instance, you cannot do this. You know, in C, you have uh, arrays of one data type. So all values have to be of the same data type. Whereas in PHP, it's possible for you to have different values. So I have created an array, as I said, using the array function. And uh, I have given it the name ARR. And uh, I have used a dollar sign here. You still need to do that because we are still creating a variable. And uh, then you have to type in your values within a set of parentheses. So I have uh, typed in 15 as the first value, 10 as the second, 85.78, which is a fractional value as the third, and then Jim as the fourth and Peter as the fifth. And these two values are string values. So that's why I have enclosed them within double quotes. Then there is the closing parentheses and the semicolon to terminate the statement. So this is going to create my variable. And if I want to fetch out values out of this variable, it's very simple. I have used the echo statement on lines eight and nine and I have passed in the index positions of the uh, you know values that I want to fetch out so one thing to keep in mind here is that uh, the index position of the first element in any array in PHP is 0 so if suppose you want to fetch out 85.78 then you need to pass in 2 and not 3 as despite the fact that it's the third value in the array but the index position of 85.78 is 2 because the index position of 15 is 0 the index position of the second element which is 10 is 1 and 85.78 is 2 and the index position of Jim is 3 and the index position of Peter is 4 right so if you want to get 15 you'll have to type in ARR and then within square brackets you have to mention your index position right so echo then the name of the variable which is dollar ARR within square brackets for Jim you'll type in 3 and for 15 you'll type in 0 so let's check out the output of this file and compare it with the whatever we've discussed till now I look for arrays.php and we see Jim as uh, you know the value returned to us in the first line and 15 the value returned to us in the second line right and uh, now let's say you want to change the value of uh, the second element in the array right you want to change the value at the index position 1 you want to change it to 15 from 10 it's very simple I have commented out this code and I'm going to get rid of the comments so it's going to be a valid statement save the file and refresh it and by the way I have an echo statement on line number 11 that's going to display the value that's there at index position 1 so if I didn't have a comment uh, then I would see 25 if I had a comment then uh, I'm sure that the output here is 10 right so this 10 is going to be replaced with 25 here and uh, that's how simple it is to update values in arrays right and uh, then I have the print underscore r function which is again used to display 
uh, values but it gives you some information so it tells you the index position and it tells you the values right so that's the output of the print r function you would see that we first see array here you know the type of variable then we see that at the index position 0 we have 15 at index position 1 we have 25 at 2 we have 85.78 at 3 we have Jim and at 4 we have Peter right the next thing that we've done is uh, we have created an another array but this one is created in a special way so you have an array within an array right so you have 8 10 15 as three elements the first three elements and then you have another array as the fourth element to the array my ARR right so the elements of this array uh, are 19 23 28 and 30 now let's say you want to fetch out uh, 23 from this array so the way you're going to do that is uh, by typing in 3 first because that's the index position of this entire array within the array my ARR and that's because 8 has the index position 0 10 has the index position 1 15 has the index position 2 and then within this array the number 23 has the index position 1 because the index of 19 is 0 and 23 is 1 so you, you'll have to use two sets of square brackets here you'll first type in the name of your array which is my ARR then within uh, the first pair of square brackets you will type in the index position of the entire array which is 3 and then you will type in the index position of the number that you want to fetch out which is 23 in another set of square brackets and this one has to follow the first set right and uh, the output shows 23 here because that's what we wanted to get and uh, lastly if I use the print underscore r function here then the output that we see is we see 8 at index 0 we see uh, 10 at index 1 we see 15 at index 2 and then it tells us that tells us that at index position 3 we have an entire array and then within that array it tells us that we have 19 at index 0 23 at index 1 and 28 at index 2 and 30 at index 3 so the print underscore r function is actually very useful and I'm not saying that you have to use it whenever you use arrays uh, as a replacement to echo but sometimes when you've got lots of things going on within your arrays you know like uh, each element is an array for instance you know it makes sense to use the print underscore r function and you know it makes even more sense if you use it with the pre tags in HTML and we will check check uh, check that out later on in this course maybe but uh, for the time being this is all you need to know about arrays and we're going to check out uh, more tutorials uh, in the next tutorial we're probably going to look at associative arrays and then we're going to check out some array functions too and uh, arrays uh, as I said earlier offer you a lot of flexibility and you can do a lot of different kind of things with arrays and uh, you know the usefulness of arrays is amplified you know when you use them with loops and uh, that's again something that we're going to discuss in future and uh, I hope you had fun watching this tutorial and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already see you in the next video till then take care